Yoo-hoo! That's how my grandma would have gotten your attention tonight. <laughs> uh, let's begin. One in every three seniors dies of Alzheimer's or dementia. If your family has two sets of grandparents, the chances that you will be or have already been impacted by this disease is pretty high. My mom's mom, my grandma, June, who we call Mum Mum, is a part of this statistic. She passed in 2017 with Alzheimer's. The years my family spent caring for Mum Mum taught me a lot about this disease. Not so much about the brain or the latest treatments, but about what to do when faced with this diagnosis. And tonight, I would like to use my family's experience to share a few things to remember if you ever have a loved one who forgets. First and foremost, remember how to pronounce Alzheimer's correctly. I've heard one too many people call it Alzheimer's and even worse, old timers. If as a society we can master the pronunciations of quinoa and acai, we can all learn how to say Alzheimer's correctly. Remember that they can't remember. remember. Is it frustrating when they ask you for the fifth time in five minutes, where are you living now? Sure. Is it irritating when they say, I haven't seen you in so long, when you saw them the day before and the day before that? Very. But all they have is that moment, so make it a good one. <laughs> Remember that it's okay to laugh, because when my mom thought my thong underwear were her own, it was funny. And when she asked my dad if they were going together, you couldn't help but laugh a little. And since there's still no cure for this disease, laughter really is the only medicine that'll get you through it. Remember that it's normal to cry. My mom was all in, whether it be mothering, teaching, or adventuring, she committed and she excelled. Watching such a bold woman be degraded to the helplessness of a child was heartbreaking. And those moments you notice a difference are devastating. So give yourself permission to grieve them. Remember to play music. When my mom couldn't remember how to read, she could still remember every word to let me call you sweetheart. So sing, buy an MP3 player and download all of their favorite songs. When all else seems forgotten, the memory, comfort, and joy of music remain. Remember that it's okay to lie sometimes. There's actually a name for it. It's called compassionate deception. When Mama would ask where her deceased husband was, we quickly learned that for her sake, it was better to respond with, he's on a business trip, than to undermine her reality and tarnish her spirit. Just a disclaimer, remember that compassionate deception doesn't always work. Mama was quick to call us out when everyone else got a heavy pour of red wine but her. We were certain the non-alcoholic stuff would be just the ticket. Clearly, we underestimated the power of a quality cab salve. Remember, they're still human. My mom went to great lengths to make sure that my mom's clothes fit, her food was nourishing, her body was active, her mind was stimulated, and most importantly, that she felt loved and appreciated. She made sure that the things that mattered to my mom didn't lose their importance just because she couldn't advocate for them anymore. Remember not to use the excuse, they won't remember anyway. My mom found a note that my mom wrote to her when she was in the thick of Alzheimer's. One line read, I will never forget the tender love and care you gave me. Small moments get lost, but the way you make a person feel transcends the worst of this disease. Remember that it's not their fault. My mom traveled to all seven continents and 49 of the United States. She was just about as mentally active as they come. Alzheimer's is a disease and she couldn't have prevented what happened to her. And she certainly didn't de deserve any of the judgment that inevitably came her way. So be mindful of the stigma. Remember that they're scared. June Plo Altmeyer, 1830 Highland Oaks, Oaks Drive. We'd find these notes with my mom's full name and address scattered throughout her room. On some of them, she'd write a message. Dear operator, please find out if my husband is still interested in me. If so, please tell him to come pick me up. And she'd often pack her suitcase, insisting that she must go home when she was standing in the very home she'd lived in for 12 years. Fear, confusion, and isolation are constant. When your memory fails, in each moment, you struggle to put the pieces of your unfamiliar life together. Remember, remember that despite what they're forgetting, they're still the person they've always been. My mom's passion for teaching, her sense of humor, her love of exploring, her love of family, 
those deep-rooted qualities that made mum-mum mum-mum weren't going anywhere. So try to focus on what they still have instead of what they're losing. Remember that this disease does not discriminate. About four years ago, my dad's mom, my smart, classy, witty Grandma Joan, was diagnosed with vascular dementia. So, once again, my family is practicing exactly what I'm talking to you all about tonight. And that leads me to my last and most important point. Remember that the sacrifices you make are well worth it. For two years and four months, my mom and dad were selflessly devoted to taking care of my mom. Everything from daily visits and planned outings to unexpected 3 a.m. hospital trips, they were there. And the second time around has been no different. My parents moved to Florida in September of 2018, just four months after Grandma Joan moved into a memory care facility there. And since then, my mom and dad have been there for it all, for move-in day, for weekly appointments, for tough conversations with my grandpa, you name it. But what my entire family has gained from my parents' countless sacrifices and personal toil has been more time with my mom and Grandma Joan. More laughs, more memories, and a deeper bond with both of them. And what I've personally learned from my parents' example is a lot simpler than everything I've talked about tonight. At the end of the day, sacrifice for your loved ones the way they've sacrificed for you. Care for them the way they've cared for you. And love them the way they've loved you. It has nothing to do with Alzheimer's or dementia and everything to do with preserving a person's dignity and respecting their right to a full and meaningful life. Thank you. <laughs>